Hey guys, so long time no see and today I'm going to be filming a video about a topic that I'm super excited about. I'm going to be talking about my favorite books for guys, girls, high schoolers. They tend to be along like the young adult kind of trend and I personally read all kinds of books. I read books that I read in elementary school and I don't care. So I'm just going to be sharing you guys my favorite ones that I've enjoyed throughout the time that I kind of started reading like I totally believe now 100% that reading is essential I started reading because I realized that I was on my phone too, way too much I'm still on my phone way too much so I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm not but I was realizing that I was just forgetting a ton of stuff and I just wanted to kind of be more cognizant of what was going on so i decided to start reading also i forgot to mention if you guys want to see like books that i'm planning to read in um 2017 just comment that down below and i'll do that because i ordered a ton of books on amazon and i'm really excited to read them so just comment down below if you want to see that video so yeah let's just let's just get started basically the first series i'm going to be talking about is and I don't even know why there's a bookmark. You guys might see like little red post-its, but like I finished all of these books. Also, I'm not going to be including spoilers. I'm just going to be giving you a general summary why I liked it, everything like that. So the first series is the Spoiled and Messy series. And I started these, I think, towards the beginning of the second semester of my ninth grade year. I'm in 11th grade right now, so like two years ago, basically. And each of these books is just so lighthearted. There's a great storyline. There are parts of the book where it's shallow, I'm not gonna lie, because it is about Beverly Hills. Um, the main character, how do I say this without giving away? Anyways, the main character's sister is, her personality is shallow. I personally think she's really likable. Actually, these books have actually like really been helpful to me on rainy days. I'll just sit on the couch and I'll read these and they're amazing books. So, another series I'm going to recommend to you guys are the Sarah Dessen books. Um, I love Sarah Dessen. These were my two favorite. This one is This Lullaby, and the, yeah, this one is Along for the Ride. This one is This Lullaby. These are my two favorites. Um, this book is about favorites, so I'm not going to be showing you guys every book I have. I'm just going to be showing you my favorites. These were my two favorites. Personally, I would pick these two up. Um, I think I liked this one a little bit better along for the ride just a tad better a lot of Sarah Dessen's books are very romantic and the storylines tend to be the same so if you pick up one and you don't like it I wouldn't go for it again because the storylines are similar but they're very cute stories and I personally think Sarah Dessen books are like feel-good books once you read them you feel good about yourself they're easy reads but I do think the writing style is very good it's very mainstream one of those authors that is has really made such a mark on the young adult um, novel genre so I definitely think you should read some Sarah Dessen I'm talking about one that I actually got for Christmas and it's my true love gave to me 12 holiday stories and this bookmark is it not like the cutest thing ever anyways so my brother got me this and it's by it's basically an anthology if you guys are not familiar with that term it's where a ton of different sellers all come together they collaborate and they publish one book containing many different short stories so basically this book has a ton of really famous authors that you might have heard of there's rainbow rowell there's stephanie perkins there's holly black there's and they're basically 12 holiday stories that kind of circulate around christmas um lunar new year the new year and they're just little cute romantic stories and what i like about it is that this book is so layered every single story you could tell is a different author there's so many different layers and undertones and styles and voices in each of these stories and it's just an amazing book you have a little you have some stories that have a little bit of a dark side you have some that are just purely cute you have some that are fantasy you have some realistic they touch bases on college and the struggles with family and growing growing up in a poor family but there's also the rich family aspect so I personally think this is an amazing book it's probably my favorite that I'm gonna be mentioning to break I was reading this a lot of my winter break story truly highlights 
the magic associated with the holiday. So I really like this book. Okay, so the last favorite of mine that I'm going to be talking about is the last physical copy I have of a book. And it is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Emily and Sloane have basically been best friends. They're attached to the hip. They're like sisters. Anyways, Sloane disappears out of nowhere and she basically gives Emily a list of impossible tasks. She has to do kiss a stranger, kiss a stranger, dance until dawn, apple picking at night, etc. And basically what Emily thinks is that if she completes all these tasks, then Sloane might come back and... um basically just come back and be her friend again so if you're only in high school nothing really matters as much as it will later and you just need to make some memories that you can always look back and smile on which is why i really liked this book i thought that it really highlighted the feelings that you get when you embark on daring tasks it also embarks it also shows you what you would do the great lengths you would do for your best friend like Emily literally is so shy, yet she was willing to do all these tasks for her best friend, which I think is super cool, and yeah, I just really enjoyed this book. So, the next two book series slash books that I'm going to be talking about are my two favorite that I saved for last. So, my first favorite adult novel book that I've ever read was Rainbow Rowell's Eleanor and Park. I thought that was such a good book like I thought it was the most amazing book ever I loved it so 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 much I cannot begin to express how much I love that book just the intensity of their romance the quotes that were inserted in the book Eleanor Park like I related to both of those characters so much they were both outsiders it was not your typical love story there were so many family problems there are so many messed up people in that book it was just an amazing book and it's just the epitome of an amazing young adult novel that book will make you cry it'll make you laugh i finished that book in one day their park he was asian which is really interesting because they usually don't put asian characters in book especially in books especially the leads and he had a caring family they were a little conservative but they were caring and eleanor on the other hand she hailed from a family a broken family filled with so many problems and she constantly struggles with being a little overweight and you can tell how reserved and closed Park was in the beginning with Eleanor and how they develop into like what I would deem the most intense romance ever and Eleanor and Park was phenomenal. Anyways, I need to stop talking about this. So basically the last one I'm going to be talking about is Harry Potter and if you guys know me, it is my favorite series on the planet. I'm not even going to have to discuss it that much because I've talked about it in my 50 facts about me tag. It is my favorite book on the planet. I think the characters are so dynamic. I think they're all real and I think they rec they each represent the different facets of people's personalities. I love the adventure. I loved how it wasn't romance. It was just strictly fantasy. There was a little bit of romance. I liked Ron's family. And I liked Harry Potter's relationship with Sirius Black and how he kind of makes his own family with his friends, Hermione and Ron. I thought it was an amazing book and I'm obsessed with taking those house quizzes. I'm a Slytherin and I live for being a Slytherin. Apparently they're evil, but I mean, I don't think I'm evil. So anyways, I love Harry Potter so much and I hope you guys all read that book. Yeah, these are basically my book recommendations for teen girls and guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys all so, so, so much. I hope you guys have a nice second semester of school. Do not let the stress get to you. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.